Thank you. And now back to Joshua Johnson, who was sentenced today to life in prison without parole, convicted in the brutal murder of Riley Whitelaw. That verdict wrapping up a shocking case that stunned the Colorado Springs community last summer. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Coffey joins us live in studio tonight with more on how the case played out and the post-trial reactions from prosecutors and loved ones. Emily. Heather, it's been more than a year since police found Riley Whitelaw's body laying in a pool of blood inside a Colorado Springs Walgreens. The community responding with tremendous grief, but also an outpouring of love in a sense that justice has been properly served. It's been a nightmarish 16 months for the family of Riley Whitelaw. Um, I'm in awe of the courage that you have shown in the courtroom here every day. Last summer, Colorado Springs police found 17-year-old Riley Whitelaw murdered in the break room where she worked. The county coroner revealing that she had been stabbed no less than 42 times. But your own actions caught up to you. The fingerprints and DNA evidence caught up to you. Your attempts at concealment caught up to you. A day after her death, one of her co-workers, Joshua Johnson, was arrested walking alongside the freeway in Walsenburg, a hundred miles from the crime scene. The defense delayed his trial twice, requesting competency evaluations. And when the trial did start, Johnson maintained his innocence, trying to blame the killing on a person who had purportedly attacked him as well. You could not escape the consequences of your actions. On Wednesday, it took just an hour for the jury to find him guilty of killing Riley Whitelaw. You will have the rest of your life to contemplate what you have done, the life you have destroyed, and the family and the community around that life that you have ruptured forever. Joshua, given a life sentence without parole for the brutal killing, but the verdict was not the only powerful moment witnessed at the courthouse. There was this demonstrative art piece. These 42 stones represent the stab and incised wounds Riley endured. And afterwards, messages of hope. Riley's light continues to burn bright, and her loved ones, friends, and Riley's mom have dedicated themselves to guarding that flame. Riley is not forgotten. Ultimately, today's verdict was an easy one for jurors. Joshua Johnson leaving behind a trail of damning evidence you can read more about the case at krdo.com, and we have a link to the Riley Whitelaw Foundation, a scholarship fund established in her memory. As for Johnson, he now has 42 days to file an appeal regarding the length of his sentence. It's not clear tonight whether he intends to do so. Reporting live in the studio, Emily Coffey, KRDO News Channel 13.